I've had this hairstyle for two days, no kidding. Ew. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Sorry it has been such a long time and I can't explain why. If you follow me on Instagram, you may know, maybe you don't know, but now you will know. I broke my foot last Sunday and I broke it in a very uh, non-actiony manner. I just fell over my couch. It was a 30 centimeter fall. It was nothing and I actually just thought that I hurt my head because I slammed in the floor with my head first but I broke my foot and it's very broken. Uh, just a bit of a trigger alert. I will post now, insert a picture of my x-ray so if that kind of thing triggers you or you don't like that kind of thing then just fast forward five seconds. It will be done uh, and I'll show it now. Yes, okay, so it was quite broken and on Friday, that is two days ago, I had surgery. So yeah, this video is going to be about that, it's going to be about my hospital experience, it's going to be about my hospital experience in context of zero waste and what and how and plastic and why and no. I think that you should never compromise your health uh, for an ideology or a lifestyle like zero waste. So if you need something um, that comes in plastic, or maybe it's made of plastic, you should take that offer instead of saying, no, I don't want that because it's covered in plastic. I was so lucky that uh, the drinks they brought me and the food they brought me uh, was all on reusable plates and reusable cups and everything. So that was really nice. But there were some things as well that was packaged in plastic or made of plastic. And instead of just saying, well, okay, I asked uh, the staff and I asked doctors and the nurse to put all the plastic inside my canvas bag so I could take it home with me. And I have it all right here. It's a pretty big jar. This jar is one of those that can hold uh, spaghetti and fettuccine and stuff like that. So it's, it's very huge. So even though there were tons of plastic involved with this experience, I needed this surgery. So of course I'm not going to sit there and criticize um, the hospital or the staff or the procedures or anything because they were all so kind and so sweet with me and it was just a really great experience actually. I was so nervous and so afraid because I've never been uh, operated on before, I never had surgery of any kind so I was so nervous but they all made it just like this really amazing experience so I just wanted to give them credit for that and it was very important to me when I told them that they should just put all the uh, all the trash, all the plastic in this canvas bag that I was not going to use the trash or the amount of the trash to criticize them on the contrary, exactly. So, this is not a critique of the hospital experience but I just wanted to document how it looks anyway. Um, so yeah, in here we have a long plastic tube for instance that was in my nose for oxygen. I have one plastic cup which uh, all of my pills and tranquilizers and what they came in this cup there are some uh, ordinary plastic bags because I got this uh, boot on my foot. I will just insert a picture so you can see it. Um, and it came with these buffers or what to say. So then there was something, because this is all disposable, I'm not able to use any of this ever again. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it now. But now I have my hospital trash with me. Um, but then there's also this thing. Um, and this was something they were going to throw away and then I said I would actually really like to just keep it but it's not able to fit into my jar because it's massive and it's one of these um, socks or what to put in this boot for support so I'm not moving my foot around too much but I thought because this is made for support and made for injuries that you can use it again if you ever uh, fall down and dislocate your ankle or whatever so yeah, that is my hospital trash, just some other information, you can see that I'm sitting down because I can't stand and I'm not able to stand for six weeks, so a lot of my videos now are going to be sitting in my couch. I know that's not very inspiring, but that is what I can do now. So yeah, this was a rather short video, I just wanted to show you my hospital trash and what I've been through and everything. I hope I will be able to make more frequent videos now instead of going two weeks in silence, sorry, um, but I'm just getting the hang of it, so yeah, it's going to be sitting in my couch and my boyfriend's going to be helping me uh, setting up everything and the tripod and the camera and the technique, um, because I can't do anything, it sucks, it sucks, 
I'm one of those people that really love sitting on the couch all day doing nothing but the moment that I have to and it's not a choice of mine I just go completely insane um, so yeah this is my hospital trash and like I said it wasn't that bad I actually thought that there was going to be more trash than this um, and of course from the actual surgery there's something I couldn't bring with me and something that they wouldn't allow to go in here so it is not all of it maybe it's 90% of it so yeah I hope that this still um, is some sort of interesting to you but if it's not it's okay I'm going to make another video soon I hope that I can make another video either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow and it's going to be more uh, normal and what I usually talk about so yeah I want to see more of my recent updates you can go to my blog guidemero.com where I just talked about zero waste gift wrapping and I have some guides and inspiration for zero waste gift wrapping this Christmas and of course head over to my Instagram because that is the thing that will be um, most active because it's the simplest thing so yeah I really hope that you guys like my video and see you guys next time Bye!